Hi, welcome back. This is Kalo Gamer. Just a brief update now. Uh, I haven't really posted a video for uh, a few weeks. Just thought I'd uh, highlight some of the pickups uh, I've got recently and what I've been up to. We'll start off with the uh, quickie now. Managed to pick this one up at a local supermarket where uh, they were selling off a lot of their uh, items and it's a Wii Motion Plus. Uh, I've actually got a Motion Plus controller and I've also got one of these add on Motion Pluses uh, for the standalone uh, bog standard Wii Mode. So this one now, so I haven't opened it yet, this one for about a week or, week or so back. But uh, this one will make the uh, original two Wii remotes that I had with the system uh, Motion Plus compatible. Yeah, say for a fiver. I think it's too bad for a fiver to be honest. Right, let's move on to some uh, import stuff to mix it up. I've uh, got a couple of Dreamcast games here. First one, it's uh, Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider 4, Last Revelation. Uh, Pick this up, it's a super cheap pickup from uh, Japan. Uh, it's all boxed, it's got the spine. Spines uh, behind the disc, sit behind there, along with the Rego card and whatever. Um, yeah, everything's all nice. It's all minty. So uh, it's about three quid. It's also got a sticker with it as well. Like I say, I like to uh, keep the spines and the Regos behind the uh, behind the disc case. As I say, they're in there. If you can see them. Oops. Yeah, all bits and pieces there. It's good the safest place to keep them really because when you keep them folded inside the uh, game box, you've got a chance of uh, damaging them and the manual. So that was all, uh, it's all pretty good. The game itself ain't that great, but the, uh, so I've got the PAL version, but obviously I'm going to be getting rid of the PAL version. And chop that in on eBay now. So now I need to keep the power up. Another Japanese Dreamcast pickup. This time it's uh, Echo the Dolphin with its uh, foiled manual. It's like a shiny silver foil effect. As I say, this one also came with the, uh, the spine card. Behind the, the disc holder again. The Regio card, Moravia, bits of paperwork. Yeah, again, that was, uh, I think that one was about 450 something like that. And with the post there, I think we had two items with the post on account of about 12 quid. But I say, it's, uh, it's in decent condition. I haven't actually played that yet. Gotta get around to giving it a whirl. But uh, yeah, as I say, have like a look at that one for a while. Uh, never played it, never played the PAL version either. So, be uh, taking a run on that one, or taking a, a swim through on that one, I should say, at some point in the future. Mixing it up a bit, let's get to some uh, 360 pickups I managed to pick up recently. Uh, this one is uh, Gears of War Judgment. I managed to get this in an half price sale. Uh, yeah, I mentioned the store, it's HMV, they got a yellow sticker deal on uh, all the games that were yellow stickered, all managed, all new, not pre owned. And uh, well, there were some pre owned ones in there, but this was new. And it included the Gears of War uh, download card as well, so you can download Gears of War 1. But yeah, Gears of War Judgment. Didn't really want to pay full price for that one, because, even though I'm a big Gears of War fan. But uh, yeah. It was all there. It wasn't actually sealed like everything you buy from HMV now, nothing sealed. That one cost me uh, 15 quid. Another one as well. This one, another one was a yellow sticker deal from HMV. And it's uh, Killer is Dead. Now I do like uh, the No More Heroes and uh, Killer 7 games. So uh, I was looking for this one for, for a while now. 
and I managed to see obviously at a yellow sticker deal half price and it was only uh, labelled up at I think it was £27 so it worked out about 13 quid, 13 50 13 14 quid something like that it's either 27 99 or 27 quid I can't remember but uh, yeah it was half price so for less than 14 quid I managed to get that I've actually played both of those X360 games um, Judgment 2 is pretty good I don't uh, know what the story uh, mode's like on that one yet but I've played the online and that's pretty sound I did play the beta on that so and Killer is Dead, it's a pretty good, pretty good game. It's a, it's a little bit lightweight, but it's a, a decent hack and slash game, especially for that price. It's got some nice graphics as well using the Unreal Engine. And let's uh, head back to Retroland. And this one's a Mega Drive game. Any prizes given for guessing the name of this one? Anyone familiar with the box or the hard work? I'm not actually going to give you a name on this one. I know what it is. It was a it was a joint uh, Visco Tato collaboration. Actually, like a, it was part of the Tower Plan programming that actually produced the coin up version of this. May see there. See, I know the name of this thing. I just want to know if you lot know the name of it. It's a coin op conversion. Very often, it's listed as a Taito game. But yeah, it's a Mega Drive game. I'm uh, happy to have that in collection again. I did use to own this a few years back. It's quite a toughie. Um, there are slight variations on this in the coin up. But yeah, I do like that game. But it's definitely uh, a toughie. It's it's there with the girls and ghosts along with the, the difficulty level. This wasn't that cheap. I paid over 20 quid for this from Japan. But it's, uh, it's all there. It's in nice condition. So the, the manual is like the mint, it's like the new, amazing condition. And the cart as well. I don't think there's a lot of wear at all on the cart. Stunning condition really. Especially considering its age. It's like 1991. What's that? 23 years old. So yeah, it's a decent game, it's quite tough. I do remember it being tough back when I used to own it originally in my first uh, Sega Mega Drive collection. So, so yeah, it's a Sega Mega Drive game. No prizes for guessing what it is, but and another retro game. This time it's a PC Engine game. It's one I've been looking for for a while now. And uh, it's Override. It's uh, a game developed by Sting, and it was uh, released by Data East, published by Data East. It's a, a decent shootout. It's very fast. It's very, it's quite hectic. So again, it comes with a sponge and the uh, protective case for the card. It's a uh, decent condition, nice condition. It's not knocked about. Yeah, I really liking the U cards. I'm really glad I got back into collecting the U cards. It's quite rare and it's quite expensive to pick up. Uh, I've seen a couple recently uh, where the price has dropped a little. And say when I saw this one, it was uh, the sub £25 mark I paid for it. Actually, yeah, won this on a bid. I didn't actually just get a buy in there. But yeah, bids came in and I, I managed to pick that one up. I'm, ple I'm pleased with that one. It's a, it's, a, it's a really good game. It's a really nice fast shooter. It's got some decent music, some decent graphics. And I'd recommend it to anyone that's uh, looking for some uh, engine shooters. And finally, not so much a pickup related uh, item, 
Remember way back when I uh, converted uh, Kido PAL 5060Hz uh, TV booster box? Well, I picked up a Tenalki 2 a while back and I've actually finally got round to converting the thing to an RGB unit. Uh, it's a similar operation to what I did to uh, Griffo 8. 83x yeah it's a similar operation to that so uh, yeah that's now an, another RGB box so I've got one for PC Engine and one for my Super Graphics so I don't have to be swapping and changing them over so yeah I picked all the bits bits off eBay for that it's, uh, it's only cost me a couple of quid and I also managed to finally get me a hot glue gun as well which uh, is uh, useful for doing all these uh, retro bits and pieces it's nice to uh, tack the wires down and whatever and boards into place anyway that's just a brief round up and as always thanks for viewing and uh, catch you later